Hey there. Welcome back to my place. I'm Eric, and uh, this chair here, I've had this for a very long time, as you can probably tell. Um, it used to fit me, now it doesn't, but I keep it behind my door. And on the topic of miniatures, I was gifted this for my birthday from two of my good friends. And it was so thoughtful, and the the whole thing is a, a battery-operated mechanical gondola that you put together. So you wire it, you... It's nothing complicated, but the mechanism that allows it to go back and forth is really, really cool. I can't really explain it very well, but you can Google it if you feel like it. And it gives you this option of dressing up your own kind of shell of it. So it comes just totally white, totally blank, and you can color it whichever way you like. And I thought maybe I should sort of customize it a bit more. And so I <laughs> I stayed up uh, all night last night working on it for this video. And it kind of, I don't want to say it kind of ruined the experience, but staying up all night is not fun. I was going to make this a much longer video where I usually go in depth about what I did, what I, sort of the process of making it, but I'm just gonna kind of run through it. I was looking for inspiration. I wanted something that would be, uh, I was playing around with ideas of making it just kind of a, uh, making the gondola device. So in any case, I went with just a regular gondola and I was I was thinking about the Grand Budapest Hotel because I remember that movie having some really lovely design to it and what caught my eye was the uh, funicular I don't know how to pronounce it but the diagonally riding rail that travels up to the hotel itself. Because of the way that the gondola, the, the toy is designed, I couldn't make it like the funicular. I just took the design of it and tried to adapt it to a gondola. So I'm gonna go and grab it and show you. It took a tumble, but I made it out of cardstock, the front and sides is a single piece, the back side is a single piece, and the bottom is a piece of foam core that I cut to shape, just for structure. And so there's a little cutout at the bottom for the switch. I used, I was looking for a clear plastic, I couldn't find anything, so I used a, a clear plastic vinyl uh, sleeve for the outer sleeves for that and I cut it to shape and did that for three of the four sides because the back really doesn't need, you know, anything. And I still needed to access the battery and the gears inside so the roof itself comes off in a very tricky way that you need to bend it around this wheel. But then you have, you know, pretty good access to the inside. The, um, the little curtains are made of tissues or uh, napkins, can't remember which, and I hand painted everything. So um, yeah, it, it was a lot harder than that because all these issues I was running into, this was going to be the original kind of final version of the outside walls. So the inside is red, which is beautiful because in the movie, the hotel's other modes of transportation, namely the elevator, are lined in this beautiful, rich red. It's almost overpoweringly red, it's insane. I loved that they also used this in the funicular. Bought some paint just for this, some red paint, and I painted the inside, but the issue was that I was sloppy and I got red paint all over the outside as well. 
So when I went to finish the outside, I had to spray paint it white, and then some things, the, the red showed through. It was a bit of a headache, and especially when you're doing it for hours and hours and you're not sleeping, it becomes very not fun. And I started to think about doing this kind of thing, like making or modifying things, and how much I love doing it for other people, like family or friends, like I love doing that. And I didn't love doing this. And not that I don't love it now, but the process of doing something like, I, I love how it turned out. I love that I get to have it. But the process of making something for yourself is so different. And I know everything that's wrong with it. And it just, I don't know, there's no surprise. There's no, the, the act of giving something to somebody is so pure I guess or just it's so satisfying even if they don't like it I don't care so I'm going to hang this up in my room and probably take the battery out unless people ask to see it go and it does run too even with the extra added weight so I'm uh, quite satisfied with that when it runs into a, a tab here the wheel changes direction quite brilliant really. Anyway, so this is my funicular inspired gondola from the Grand Budapest Hotel. And thanks for watching. I'm gonna go to sleep. I will see you next month. Happy Halloween. Also, happy birthday, Josh.